All right, let's take a look at that video. This is from the Circle K. There she is. Posted this on social media today asking, when, when you see Raul Ortiz come in, do you see anything that indicates that he's sexually harassing her or looking down her shirt or doing anything inappropriate? Or do you think she just made it up? Posted that on social media. Incredible reaction. We will begin with our comment of the day. 13th juror comment of the day coming to us from Jessica tonight who wrote, absolutely nothing inappropriate unless he said something, but her vibe wasn't negative at all. She went straight for her change and was smiling big. Let's take a look at that big smile. Um, let's take a look. Looks like a smile to me, Michael Sterling. Um, does she look like she was just harassed? No, she doesn't, Vinny. And it is an unfortunate um, history in our country where you have these sort of false allegations made uh, and someone ends up losing their life from Emmett Till to Rosewood. And this is just one another one of those situations where you have a Karen who basically cost this man his life. Lisa tonight writing, she may have felt uncomfortable, but the man didn't need to die because of a feeling. Sorry, but what happened to the man is so wrong. Uh, Dave Arenberg, do you think that she maybe exaggerated to a certain extent what happened to kind of make her boyfriend a little jealous? She's 18, he's 19. Yeah, it seems like that. And it seems that she's a bit remorseful based on what happened. If you look at her testimony, she seemed very subdued and she seemed that she regretted the chain of events that transpired. It's because she went ahead and told her boyfriend that this guy essentially sexually harassed her, that that man ended up dead. Julie tonight, he sexually harassed her. It was subtle, but most women know it was inappropriate and would have felt a little uncomfortable. Men get away with this slime behavior all the time because it's quick and only vaguely kind of wrong. What the boyfriend did in return was horrible and unjustifiable, but Holly, do most women know it? Do you sense it? Do you feel it, even if it's very subtle and quick? This Circle K video is a disservice to the women that have truly been sexually harassed. So the, the answer has been a yes. Women are harassed on a daily basis. Is this it? I don't think so. And let's look at what her words say. She says that nothing sexual happened, that he got too close to her. Well, that's not what she told Aaron Robinson on the night he killed Raul Ortiz. She told him that he said, what's up, looked her up and down and stared down her breast. That's a lie. What I think really happened is that this young woman got embarrassed that a Hispanic man got too close to her in line and then embarrassed her by telling the clerk that she needed to be carded. And what does a white woman get to do when a Hispanic man has insulted her? How does she exercise her white privilege? Look, this is a very controversial topic, but I am just reading the tea leaves here. And I saw her testimony on cross-examination where she, with a slight edge, she couldn't understand what he said in Spanish, yet she could testify accurately that he did mention cigarettes. I mean, this is a woman who got embarrassed and wouldn't want this man to come too close to her. And when he embarrassed her, she punished him. Do I think that she thought it was going to escalate to him dying? I'm not sure, but she drove her truck um, alongside Aaron Robinson's truck to Mr. Ortiz's house when she knew a fight was coming. So I think this woman uh, did something uh, very, very dangerous to, to Hispanic uh, people and to black people as well. And unfortunately, Mr. Ortiz lost his life. But no, this is not sexual harassment. Enthusiastic Esther writing tonight. This is awesome. She knows the kind of person her boyfriend is and wanted a way out of his life. She wants him to be put away for life. Michael Sterling, is it possible? I mean, these two broke up in 2017. 